Welcome back, you filthy exiles. So this is the build update day one. So, so far we're doing pretty well. I managed to get, managed to get my Emperor's Vigilance, but if you couldn't get your Emperor's Vigilance yet, uh, then I've put in the POB different shields that you could use to sub it out for if you just save up a little bit of currency. Currently I'm setting, setting around, uh, what was my delve depth? Let's have a look. Uh, so I'm sitting around depth 60 and just progressing down to Dell. I had to get some sleep because it's pretty tired. Uh, and map-wise, like, I'm seamlessly clearing through maps. So let's take a, uh, a quick run through maps and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so as you can see, it pretty easily wrecks through everything at the moment, and I'll progress through and push it further and further in line with the uh, the POBs that I put up earlier. So yes, League Start's been really good. I did have one div drop during my League Start run, and also, if you haven't been doing it, using shipping is a great way to get early 5 and 6 links. I actually, actually got a 6 link by Act 9, I think, from memory. So yeah, basically builds on on par with where it should be it's actually doing significantly better we're currently sitting on overlap damage of about 1.3 mil on hit and yeah we're doing quite a bit of damage and it's working really well we have cull we've got um glancing blows but we need to fix that up Thirty six thousand armor uh, the defenses are a touch lower than what i want them to be but i'll fix that up as i go but as you can see i'm not really running into any bottlenecks with um with dying too easily and things like that now Health is, uh, is picking up as well, and mana, there are no mana problems in the build either, so I've managed to fix that. But anyway, let's quickly talk through the build, and I'll run you through everything you need to know. Okay, first thing is gear. So basically, I capped out my resistances, but definitely using shipping has been really useful. So amulet, I've got a lot of health, resistances, and armor on my, ha amu uh, on my helm, sorry. Uh, amulet, I managed to ship in an amulet with crit multi enchant, so I've already switched to crit multi enchant in my build, and then more health and more damage. Emperor's Vigilance, obviously this is the best shield. I haven't 20%ed this. What I'm noticing is the multiplicative is huge. Every time I buff it up, it goes up a little more. So we're at like 71.7 thousand on the tooltip without even having hit any buffs or anything like that into it. Um, I can't do war banner yet, but the damage just goes over 100, 149,000k currently. Uh, Prismatic Eclipse, which is like, uh, as I said, a 1c item. Uh, Emperor's Vigilance is going down in price too, so there should be no excuses to switch that out. I got my Tanuahi for 2c, but it's now 1c, so dirt cheap item. Uh, rings, and this this is giving me my Onslaught, Adrenaline, and a heap of attack speed as well, and Leech. And then my rings are literally just got, like, resistance rings wherever I could, so I could cap out my resistance and get physical damage on hit as well, to basically push up my physical damage. Uh, my six-link chest, I managed to just get from... So I got one six-link from shipping, I sold it for, like, 36 Chaos, and then I bought this for 32 Chaos. These are, like, pretty cheap now in the market so they might be going up though but yeah um this was just a really good pickup um and then my belt is just like any old ratchet belt with resistances again shipping is really good to get items really early and then my boots again i ship my boots in <laughs> we're getting a trend here use shipping shipping is fantastic in the game now in the uh, in the in the Kalgoor city center and then flasks i've literally just got quicksilver diamond to get my crit up 
I've got my um, my basalt flask with some crit on it and also my granite flask, so there's no optimization here whatsoever. So it's pretty piecemeal together, but it's working really well in delve and mapping and everything else. So yeah, that's it for gear. Now, as far as gem setups, in the helm, I've got Assassin's Mark with Mark on Hit, Clarity on Arrogance. So this is handling all my mana woes. So basically, my skill costs like 21 mana, but I'm regenerating at a significantly better pitch. So I've got like... Uh, 120 leech rate and 37 mana regenerate on uh, every second, so I'm um, outperforming my mana burn. Um, in my shield, I've got Determination, Flesh and Stone, Blood and Stain. In my sword, I've got Herald of Purity, and I have open three open sockets in the build. And I'm probably going to go Retaliation configuration on that basis. Uh, then in my chest, I've got Shield Crush. I have Merely Physical Damage, Impale, Increased Critical Strikes, because I switched to Crit and remove precise technique, and then multi-strike and brutality, and they're all like level 17 and 18, so they're not even upgraded yet. Uh, and then in my gloves, I've got automation, molten shell, blood rage, and phase run. And then in my boots, I've got war banner, shield charge, and life tap. War banner is super powerful. Like it is fantastic when you're taking anything down. I basically just like few hit everything with this build. It's really good. I'm actually really enjoying this. I was glad I played this on league start. Okay, skill tree, so the POB will be in the description below. So I went up and I took the attack speed early node, uh, node early, sorry, and then I got Born to Fight, Heart of the Warrior, Versatility. I came down and got my Art of Gladiator Defiance, and then I picked up Spirit of War and my increased mana reservation efficiency. Then you come down here. I'm going to grab all these nodes in here, and then basically get Savagery and Vigor. And then you want to grab your Merciless Skewering node with the 10% chance to increase the number of Impales on enemies. And then you'll come back down, and then I basically went and I got my Mark for Death and my uh, Frenzy Charge on hit, so I can sustain Frenzy Charges in boss fights. Uh, but you or would also, if you're still running Precise Technique and you're not switched to crit yet, you'll be running Precise Technique here. But since I've despec'd out of that, and then basically you come back across the tree and you pick up your champion of the cause, dismembering, up to bloodless. Then I've picked up cannibalistic right to deal with my mana costs uh, even a little further. And then aggressive bastion. And because I've got my Emperor's Vigilance, I've got my crit multiplier by 10 um, energy shield on the shield. And then we come up and we get stamina. We get barbarism. I picked up hardy for extra regeneration. So I get about 450. 95 uh, life regeneration per second so far and then disemboweling with extra crit multi against bosses for the ascendancy uh pretty easy stuff so i fully ascended azara was nothing to this build i basically just blew azara was basically like a twig in a wind and just fell over as soon as uh, as soon as I, I blew a little bit of a gust but uh basically take undeniable untiring second then i got unflinching so i could get endurance charges to deal with elemental damage and then Unstoppable was my last Ascendancy, my Uber Lab. Also, just for a quick run through in the uh, in the POB. So basically, Soul Anaris is what you need. Soul Tukahama as well. Power Charges are coming from the Assassin's Mark on hit. Frenzy Charges are coming from this node down here. So 10% chance to gain Frenzy Charges when you kill a marked or hit a marked enemy. And also, they're coming from Blood Rage. Endurance Charges come from Unflinching on the Ascendancy. Onslaught and Adrenaline are coming from the Gloves, which is Tanuahi, uh, these here. So we get both those attributes for the, that off those Gloves. Nearby enemies, 10, because that's realistic. Have you been hit recently? Yep. Uh, I always like to play in Blood Stance, but if you don't want to be in Blood Stance, you can change that. Your DPS obviously drops. That's just how Flesh and Stone works and Blood and Sand works. Uh, melee Distance is around about 1, that's the only change in the rest of the whole tree, and then Guardial, Guardian and Pinnacle boss damage as well, so no funky stuff in the tree. Okay, so I thought this quick update would help anyone who's sort of running into any walls with the build, or anything like that. So far, build works absolutely amazingly, I think a bunch of guys on the Twitch and whatnot and then Discord have been running it too, not having any issues or anything like that. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to post them down in the, um, the comments below and uh, I'll try and get to them as quickly as I can, but I am just enjoying playing the league because the league is really, really good. Anyway, I'll see you guys later and have a good one.